Arcadia Power Networks is an industry module of Arcadia, which allows you to create a professionally designed electrical network. For this purpose, I open the file containing the spatial plan. Next, I find the Electrics tab, the Power Networks. The first element that we will put in, in our case, it will be the transformer. I can enter into the properties and give appropriate parameters such as rate of power, percentage of short circuit voltage, the geometrical dimensions of the transformer. I can also select it from the standard library. I will look for a suitable transformer. After selection, the parameters are automatically added according to the manufacturer's catalogs. I click OK and locate the transformer in our view. I go to the outer terrain. I have a transformer inserted. The next element will be the cable connection. I will insert the cable connection next to the building. I will change the hook point to the corner so that I can more easily get the connection to the existing wall. You can now insert the remaining connections. You can now see the parameters of the cable connections. After double clicking, we have access to the connection parameters. Such parameters as geometrical dimensions, level of installation, earthing, these elements can be added here in the window or, for example, the protection rate. All parameters can be changed and adjusted to our project. Next, we select the buried line and set its parameters accordingly. Firstly, we can specify that it has an initial protection. Let's go to the protection properties and here we can see the protection from the database. We can find that protection and we can choose it. Click OK. Protection is selected. Now let's change the parameters of the buried line itself. Phase structure and I have the parameters set. Click OK. We connect our transformer with our cable connection. The next element that we add to our plan are the distribution boards. Distribution boards, as in the case of the installation, so in the case of networks, can be chosen from the database. 
you can also set the parameters by yourself in the properties window. We can change these parameters, for example, power rating. We can also change the size of the switchboard. Of course, as I have said before, you can insert tables previously selected from the database. Click OK. And for example, the boards in the building will be here. The next step will be the connection of cable connectors and switchboards. I choose the buried cable and go into the properties. I will change the installation material, multi-conductor cable. Maybe it could also be a cross section. I will leave the remaining properties. OK. We will insert a protection here. As before, we choose from the type library and insert it into our project. OK, and we connect the buried line to our boards. We can actually connect the cable connection at once. I will not be changing parameters here. I connect the other connectors with the other connection. I repeat the command and again connect the cable line number 2 with the joint number three, and all the cable joints are connected together. Now we have the final elements left. We can insert a list of materials. In the list of materials, all the elements that we entered earlier in the projection will be available. We can insert an item list. An item list is the name of a device, but also its symbol on the plan, and also the letter designation. Finally, we will generate a network diagram. Mark the start element and insert the schematic. This schematic diagram, at this point inserted in centimeters, that is, in the default unit of the program. We can mark the schematic view and change the unit to meters in this figure. Sometimes we need to do a regeneration and we have the diagram inserted. Now, the last element is the insertion of the network verification reports. You should go to the view, click the insert icon, 
click the report icon. We see all three of our circuits to each board, and now the RTF reports. By default, it opens in Arcadia text. And this is how the report from your installation looks like. We can attach it to the project, we can base ourselves on it, and, in the editing program, make changes if needed.